Well, good morning. It's January 15th, 2011, and it's playoff weekend, NFL divisional playoffs today and tomorrow. Looking forward to my Bears playing tomorrow. They play in the Seahawks. So, anyway, hope you're having a great weekend. And we are in Matthew chapter 3, and let's get right back into it, verse 9. And do not presume to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children for Abraham. Alright, let's stop there just for a minute. These guys were coming, these are the Pharisees and Sadducees, they were coming out to get baptized, but they hadn't repented, they hadn't confessed their sins, they hadn't shown that they were ready. And John is rebuking them. And he's saying, don't think you can rely on the fact that Abraham is your father. In other words, don't rely on the fact that you're a Jew, the fact that you have the heritage of the Old Testament and all these traditions that go with it. That's not going to matter. You've got to have your own faith in God. You've got to repent yourself. And I would challenge all of us. We can't rely on the past. We can't rely on our parents or grandparents or somebody else. We've got to have our own faith, our own relationship with God. We've got to personally repent. And that's what is, would be the application there. And let's go with verse, uh, verse 10. Even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Well, I think he's referring to the upcoming judgment in uh, A.D. 70 when Titus and his armies, the Roman army, uh, invaded Jerusalem and destroyed it. And we will get into more in that detail in, in some of the parables and then in uh, Matthew chapter 24 and 25. I keep referring to that, but we will cover that in more detail. Uh, however, there is... A principle here the fact is that the, the axe is at the root of the tree which means there's a judgment and there are many judgments there can be a judgment in your own life and of course anytime that there's some kind of judgment which could be the end of your life it could be Jesus coming again or it could be uh, smaller judgments throughout your life uh, you need to be ready uh, God can can take any opportunity to judge you and you have to be, hold yourself accountable. Now there will be an ultimate final judgment that everybody's going to face. I don't believe that's what it's talking about here. Nevertheless, you need to be ready at all times because you don't know when the axe is going to finally chop off the trees. You don't know when your last breath is going to be. So make sure you're ready. Make sure you've repented and, and dealt with everything. And, and I'm preaching to myself too. Alright. He says, I baptize you, verse 11, with water for repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Now I'm going to let you do a little homework yourself and look up what those uh, metaphors about the winnowing fork and the threshing floor are. And uh, I'd appreciate your comments on them. I don't want to spoon feed you. I want you to, to do a little research. Uh, he says, though, in verse 11, I baptize you with water for repentance. Now, this is biblical baptism. It's with water, and it's for repentance. Uh, I've heard of all different kinds of theories about baptism, but here's the, here's the proper standard right here. Now he did say Jesus would baptize with the Holy Spirit and with fire and that's talking about a judgment again and that's why I ask you to look up the metaphors of the winnowing, winnowing fork and the threshing floor and uh, and you know I think you can finally get the message with the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. I think that makes it pretty clear it's a judgment but I, I want you to look those things up for yourself but the baptism here is with water for repentance. So uh, if you've been baptized but you didn't repent, I'm sorry, that baptism is not a biblical baptism. I'm not going to judge you. I'm just saying it's not a biblical baptism. If uh, you've repented but you have not yet been baptized, well, that would be the next step. 
So anyway, hopefully these things have been helpful to you. And uh, come back tomorrow. We did get a little further today than we usually do. And we're going to be in verse 13 of Matthew chapter 3. And we're going to look at the baptism of Jesus. So thank you, and I will see you tomorrow on Take 5.